What is up guys, welcome back to another episode and welcome to my personal workspace. As you can see I've got my desktop here and my laptop. This is where I edit all the vlogs, where I edit my website, this is where everything goes down inside the house. So a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about tonight regarding the progress on the car, what's needed to get the car race ready for 2019 and then a few other small stuff that I would like to show you guys as well so first of all for everyone who's already subscribed to the channel thank you very much for those of you who hasn't subscribed yet pause the video go down below and hit the subscribe button for everyone who's subscribed already i want to show you guys how to receive notifications for when i post a new video so that you guys get a notification from youtube to show you that i posted a new video so i'm currently on my macbook air I just want to show you guys if you head over to YouTube I am logged in on my creative car detailing channel at the moment so I just want to show you guys if you look for my channel there you go I want you guys to hit that bell button next to the subscribe as you can see there then you guys will get notifications from YouTube whenever I post a new video. For you guys doing it on your phone, go to the YouTube app. Then let me just log into my other account and I'll show you guys. You'll search my channel and then there's the bell icon I need you to tap to receive the notifications. Next up, before we actually start today's video, I quickly want to talk about these caps I plan on making a couple more of them it's going to be a limited run of about 10 caps i want to do either the ccd in either silver or gold so i'm going to put a poll up on the screen and then i want you guys to vote if you guys will be keen on the cap and if you are what color you want to go with silver or gold like i said it's going to be a limited run i want to do about 10 caps and that's going to be it for now i won't be making them again next cap so i will change up the design a bit so now with that out of the way, I actually want to start with the video. I want to talk to you guys about what's needed to get the car ready for 2019. I was hoping that if I put the gearbox back, the car will be ready. Unfortunately, it did not work out that way. There's a couple of things that needs my attention. So what I did was I got myself this board. I'm going to put it on this wall behind you guys. Whenever I walk into this room, I'll be able to see the to-do list. I'm going to write everything down that I need to mark everything off as I move along. So, this is the 2019 to-do list. The first point I'm going to make is going to be the power steering. Excuse my extremely bad handwriting. That's why I work with my hands and not with a pen and a paper. But the power steering is gonna be first up on this list. So I have not yet Strip the car to see what's the problem with the power steering but after my previous video a lot of guys phoned me and told me to look out for this look out for that and from what i've learned it sounds like i messed up the power steering rack so how that happened was i probably put the wrong bolt through the dog bone mount so when you do that the bolt is too long and you bolt it right into the power steering rack that sits on top of the on top of the subframe so i'm suspecting that's the issue as you guys would remember i told you guys that there was a, a leak all of a sudden and i suspect that's power steering fluid from the bolt that's bolted into the power steering rack i suspect that's the issue because as some guys explained to me if you are turning left for a brief second there's a slight bit of power steering and then back to nothing again that's exactly the symptoms that I'm having at the moment. I'll actually, uh, I'll start stripping the car over the weekend 
to see if I can find something but I strongly suspect I messed up the power steering rack which is an extremely expensive fix but if it has to be done it has to be done uh, it's a mistake there's nothing I can do about it so fingers crossed that it's not the power steering rack but let's see let's see when I start the car of the weekend next up what I need to attend to is the screeching noise I spoke with the turbo builder today he suspects that I might have might have hurt the turbo when I busted the boost pipe you guys remember that uh, earlier last year I was driving full boost and the boost pipe came off I drove over the boost pipe I had some things underneath the car um, but yeah I was going 2.5 bar or mid third mid third gear either mid third or mid fourth um, and I blew the boost pipe off so we suspect that I might have hurt the turbo you know over boosting it for that brief second when the boost pipe came off before I let off the throttle so what I'm going to be doing is I'll be taking the turbo off and then I'll send it back to the turbo builder just for him to check it out turbo limits a strip so I'm going to take that off take it to the turbo builder let him go through the turbo make sure that everything is perfect if it's not the turbo that's damaged we suspect it might be the manifold leaking so while the turbo is off I'll also get the manifold checked out to make sure that it's not warped or anything like that uh, that manifold has been in the car for quite some time took a lot of punishment before so either that or the turbo has been damaged the next thing on the list I've got two leaking injectors I've got two leaking injectors that I need to have checked as you guys would have seen in the previous video as well when I start up the car every time I start up the car it cranks for a while and then it starts up the reason for that is it dumps diesel onto the pistons so it basically floods the car when I want to start the car up um, that's not good news for the amount of fuel we're running and I still want to add nitros on top of that absolutely not good news there's no way that I can spray nitros when the injectors are leaking and we are not sure the amount of fuel that is dumping into the cylinder so I can burn a piston um, I can do I can do severe damage to the motor if I'm going to spray nitrous like this so I absolutely have to get this sorted before I can before I can spray nitrous and ultimately go fast next up on the list I need two uh, 15 inch full slicks I want to buy new slicks, I'm either going with Mickey Thompson or Uzias, I'm still not sure which ones, I'm leaning more towards Uzias, but if you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments below what you guys suggest, Mickey Thompson or Uzias, I'm not really keen on any other brands, since I will be going full drag radials, so um, as you guys know I've currently got the Yokohama Neovas on the car, so no semi slicks I need full slicks I've got on the 15 inch rims that I got I've got Bridgestone I think it's RE11s I think it's RE11s that's on there now I'm gonna take them off I'll probably keep them give them away to someone whatever um, but I need two full slicks next up on the list what I need is a safety harness Damn, can't even spell safety. Safety on So safety on us. Ever since I stripped the interior, I obviously took the safety belts out. So I need to get safety harnesses in there 
my plan is either to do a full cage which is extremely expensive I don't think I'll have it in the budget this year um, or I need to build a bar that uh, bolts up where the, where the stock seat belts would have been that bolts up in there that comes back behind the seats it's quite difficult to explain for you guys now but I'm pretty sure you would have an idea so it should come down behind the seats and then I can bolt the harnesses in there and then I'll be able to strap myself into the car so at the moment this is what I've got on the list if I can think of anything else I will most definitely add it to the list um, I plan on I plan on running low 12s, mid to low 12s this year on the setup that I've got so fingers crossed that I can get there it's going to be a lot of work to get there I wasn't quite um, I wasn't quite ready to do power steering and strip the turbo but like I said whatever needs to be done we'll do it to, to achieve the goal so that's going to be it for this video guys if you made it this far in thank you very much I appreciate each and every view, every share that you guys give me. I'll catch you guys over the weekend when I start stripping a car. Peace out and reflect your passion.